I notice that everyone else has trouble wrapping their mind around this concept, which makes them inhuman, right? They're going in. The word sin is a plan word for in and ends. They're going into the earth, okay? Return to the dust, and they're the walking dead. They go down to the realm of the dead, down spiritually into the kind of essence of the filth of the earth. Okay, so their minds show an inability to wrap around the seriousness of this situation and to understand that it is pure evil to cheat me out of my right to leave. Think about it. I'm the top martial arts ever. Life principles are martial art principles. I am the master on life principles. I'm not limited by the church or by the Bible and, and the explanations they use. I'm not limited by Western culture. You see, all the churches, they tend to ride a Western goat. They say, the West said, this is how we worship God. It's mere customs, traditions, and human rules, just like Jesus said in the Bible, okay? Uh, in Mark 7, said things of this nature in, in Matthew 23, okay? They neglect the more important matters of the law, justice, faithfulness, okay? And mercy for where, where it is deserved, okay? They do not understand. It's like they're, they're some kind of demon. They can only live within the realm of cheating me out of my right to lead. Okay, whether it's pride in Western culture, whether they're, they're addicted to drugs and sex or whatever, alcohol. Okay, whether it is uh, a selfishness, whether it's greed, it's arrogance, ego. Regardless of what it is, they're, they're stuck in that. You talk about seven deadly sins, okay. It's easier to break it down in term, the way I just did than to break it down in those terms. Most of them don't have gluttony as a problem. Okay, for example. So the problems are, are, are addiction, absolutely. They're addicted to their arrogance. They're addicted to their cultures. You see, women, right, they refuse to recognize God in me and obey, okay? God is not like a beautiful flower. We're like, wow, that's cool, right? You're supposed to obey God. And if you don't, you're living within the boundaries of being some kind of animal that doesn't understand, some kind of beta coward. That's why it's called the mark of the beast, and the word beast is beta scrabbled, and of course the brute beast, like a football player, knucklehead, knucklehead in the military, police, gang member, knucklehead, geek, craftsman, boarding school, kind of privileged ninny, looking like I look how healthy I look, look how healthy I look, just, just fools. They put these things and their, their, the accompanying lifestyles above God and the accompanying moral code. They do not understand reality. Just psychological construct. In the West, it tends to be Western nonsense, Western trash ideas, Western ideologies, which are utterly repugnant, sinful, and deadly. I said it in Illuminati Part 1 in 2009. I said the white man's twist is quite sinful and deadly, and that is the core problem on the planet. They do not correct their mistake. I said in 2009, we're still waiting for your apology by your actions. They could not do it. It's not 2022. Okay, and they're leading the world astray just like Satan in the Bible. That's why they're called, and I'm part white, I'm not racist. They're called the white, second word, devil. Again, I'm not racist, okay? And everyone seems to agree that's the title. A lot of them are in rock and roll and workers from the devil and the military doing evil deep state ops and the government doing demonic stuff, police doing enforcing the corrupt, corruption of the government. They're in white uh, suburban communities enforcing the corrupt government. They weren't like my mom marrying my dad, okay, and saying I'm leaving the culture, you know, and she still insists on her culture to some degree. She's not perfect. And leaving the culture and choosing God's path, they chose to live, breathe, and propound and propagate evil and, and, and despicable falsehoods. Evil. That's what they chose to do. And I see the whole world is sharing in that kind of core mistake, that sinful neo-colonialist, colonialist, military-industrial complex, corporate partnership mistake, and they refuse to do the right thing. Can you imagine right now, they're like, because you put it that way, we cannot assist you. Okay, they have that kind of mentality. No shit. God is on my side. I don't want your fraternity assistance. I don't want you people to fucking throw me a bone and get me to fucking conform to the system. I'm God's son. You people are fucking sick. I'm the child, the most moral brain surgeon on the planet and the most moral brain surgeon there ever will be. You're the children of sick sons of bitches. I don't need your help. I don't want your help. You need to try to help yourself and your families by obeying God through me. You are not men. I am the man. 